In this lesson, we're going to install Eclipse onto Ubuntu. So I want to point out, first of all, there are a couple of ways to do this. The easiest way is to go to the Ubuntu Software Center and just install Eclipse from there. You search for Eclipse, and I've hit the more information so that you can see this. But I want to point out the version that comes in this Ubuntu Software Center is version 3.8. And we're currently on version 4.4 of Eclipse, which we'll be using for our course. So you can use this version, this Eclipse version 3.8, and you would be able to do most of, if not all, of the things that we're going to be doing in the videos for our course. But I would recommend go ahead and getting the latest version from Eclipse.org. So once again, you can take this option, run the install, go ahead and get it up and running, and you should be good to go. But again, you won't be on the latest version. So with that, let's go out to Eclipse.org and get the latest version so that we can actually put this onto our machine. So here we have the Eclipse Standard 4.4, and we're actually going to get the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. This is going to be the version that we're looking for, of course, 64-bit or 32-bit, depending on the architecture of your machine. And so here we can see the Eclipse download is available to us. What we'll do is select the mirror that we're looking for. Here it's Indiana University Mirror. This should automatically select the nearest mirror to you. And we'll go ahead and just save this. And it will take some time to download that file. In the meantime, you can check out the information here. It does ask you if you'd like to donate sometimes. Of course, Eclipse is free, so you don't need to. But if you'd like to provide a donation, you can. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while the download completes. All right, so our download has completed. So here it is. So let's go ahead and extract it. And there's our Eclipse download, and let's go ahead and move it. So in order to move it and have permissions, let's go ahead and start up a terminal. Make sure that we get the correct folder location. And we're going to move this to our op folder. So what we've done is we've typed sudo su-c, so then we have shown r root root home Brian downloads where the location of my Eclipse is, and I need Eclipse here, of course, so this is why it's good to review. So then we'll move that folder from the downloads Eclipse to opt Eclipse-Luna. Let's go ahead and do that. Of course, we have to enter our password, and it looks like we moved it. Let's double check by going out to our computer and looking in the opt folder. And there it is. And there is our Eclipse. The next step we're going to do is create a symlink. So here I'm going to type in sudo su dash c quote ln dash s slash opt slash eclipse dash luna slash eclipse space slash usr slash local slash bin slash eclipse dash luna. Enter my password. Now that is complete. So what I should be able to do now is type in Eclipse-Luna and run the program. And there we have our Eclipse Luna installed. So now we need to set a workspace. And so this will bring up our workspace launcher. Here's where we need to set where we're going to store our projects. So I usually just store them somewhere that makes sense. So what we can do is go ahead and browse out and create a folder here inside of our own workspace or inside of our own user directory. Here I can go ahead and create a folder called Java Projects. Now, of course, if you wanted to, you could create your own folder somewhere else on your machine, wherever it makes sense, if you make sure you have the permission to do that. So if I just browsed out using the Eclipse, I can't make one right on the root. It won't let me, of course. So I'm going to then select Use This as Default and Do Not Ask Again, so that every time I open, this will be my default workspace for Eclipse Luna. And now this will take just a moment to load for the first time. And we can see that we have a welcome screen for our Eclipse version here, where we can get an overview, see some tutorials, select samples, find out what's new, or go to our workbench view. So here I'm going to select to go to the workbench view. And now I'm inside of the Eclipse environment, and I have my ability to work with Eclipse on Ubuntu Linux. And this, of course, is the latest version of Eclipse, which is Eclipse 4.4 Luna. And that wraps up our installation of Eclipse on Ubuntu Linux.